Hello everyone, I'm back and this time I'm going to make a painting for the rainbow challenge and this is arranged by uh, artist Still Death and all I need to do is use the colors of the rainbow. So I thought about it and um, I want to use a lot of color and I want to pop them off the canvas. So that's why I painted the canvas black, but I'm also using inks and then uh, you can't see them as good because inks are a little bit transparent. So what I'm um, also using is white to let them pop even more. So I use a canvas of 40 by 50 centimeters and it's 3 centimeters thick and I'm now placing a clear coat on my canvas and what I learned from my previous uh, painting is that the clear coat needs to be a little bit thicker so I'm putting uh, a lot more on the, on the canvas. I'm spreading it out to fill the whole canvas And first I'm uh, using a black pearl. Um, I use this color to uh, give it a depth with the black color of the canvas. But also uh, when I blow uh, on the colors that you can see the black pearl in the white. You, you need to wait, then uh, you, you see how I do this. So three lines of black pearl. I'm starting with a red, that's the sassy red of Lores, very bright color and I'm putting it on the black line. Now I'm using a flame orange. also on the black line and now I'm using a brilliant yellow. They are all a little bit transparent except the sassy red of Lores. And that's why I'm putting a, a white line, the angel white of Lores, over the colors and over the black line. And now I blow on the white and on the color to let it flow into the clear and also in each other. So you can see it doesn't blow that well because I've got to heat it. So I'm heating it up a little bit to make it more liquid. And I blow again. So you can see it goes uh, much easier now. And I'm trying also to get some smoky effects. And this way the colors won't flow in each other. Because if I do that then it gets... Um, all muddy and I don't like that so I want the colors to be separate So the next color is the Cool Mint, also by Lores, on the second black line, black pearl. The next one is a Bombay ink, the green, 
very nice dark green color so I told you you can't see it now but if I put a white on it then the color will pop the next one is a very sparkly blue and the fourth color is the blue diamond also by Lures also very sparkly nice color Again a white line over the colors and over the black line, heating it up a little bit. And blowing with a straw. Sorry I'm in, in, in the camera, but yeah. Next color is a magenta, sundown magenta, it's also an ink. And a very nice uh, metallic purple of Lumiere, the pearl violet. Again the white line. And these are my colors for the rainbow, the red, the orange, the yellow, the cool mint, the dark green, the bright blue, dark blue, magenta and purple. So I'm going to add a little bit more red. And it's a lot of blowing through a straw, and that is also new for me. I did, I, I never did it before. 
because normally I use a mask and if I use a mask I can blow through a, a straw so this time uh, no mask a little bit of more of the orange And you need to watch out when you use the straw that you put the right side in your mouth because otherwise you have the resin in your mouth and I don't think that is a, a good thing. More yellow. So I'm looking at the composition and I uh, look where it needs a little bit more color. More of the dark green. So if you want to know uh, which colors I used in the beginning of this video, I've listed them in two uh, slides so you can uh, see of which, uh, which colors I have used. A lot of colors. And I've used about uh, 300 milliliters of Mastercast. for uh, this uh, canvas of 40 by 50 uh, centimeters. I add a little bit uh, left, but that I used on a smaller canvas. Now I'm putting some black pearl in the clear so that you get some depth with the black uh, color of the canvas. And it gives also a little bit of shiny uh, effects. So the goal for this painting was to use as many colors of the rainbow. So I used a lot. And not uh, blend them in each other. I want to have them separate. Because if you have them in each other, then it gets all muddy. So I think I uh, achieved that goal. I'm very happy with the outcome. I have a little bit of cells and that smoky effect. So I'm happy. And um, I think it's nice. Now I'm fixing up the sides with some clear to let it drip over.
So I'm heating it to blend the clear in. I'm using the torch for the air bubbles and I have some uh, hairs or dust in it so I pick them out with a, with a small stick. So this is almost the end result. If you want to see close up then you need to wait at the end of this video. Uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to place a comment do it under the video. And I will see you next time. Bye.